Hello fellow Unreal Engine developers. Today is going to be a bit of a departure for me. Instead of the usual tutorial, I'm going to be looking at the state of landscape displacement in Unreal Engine 5. And I'll be honest, it's not a pretty picture at the moment. Let's start with a history lesson. In Unreal Engine 4, we had this beautiful thing called tessellation. You could add more vertex detail to your landscape foreground and use it to add real texture height or to carve holes into the ground for footsteps or tire tracks. Life was easy for us developers, but then Unreal Engine 5 came along and the boffins at Epic decided tessellation was dead and buried. So what did they replace it with? Use Nanite is what everybody was shouting on the forums, and there is an element of truth to that. Now that you can have millions of polygons in your scene, you can sprinkle thousands of rocks and other landscape features in your level and it works well, even better when you use runtime virtual texture blending. But that's for adding displacement to your landscape. What about those footsteps and tire tracks? Nanite can't carve holes into your landscape, so Epic came up with a solution called Virtual Height Field Meshes. The idea is that you copy your landscape height and textures to a virtual height field mesh with lots more vertices, display it on the screen, and voila! one big hot mess of flickering meshes, low frame rates and blurry textures that remind me of playing Doom in the 90s. It may just be me setting it up wrong, but the issue is compounded by the fact that there is a complete lack of educational material on this experimental new feature. Hopefully this is just a temporary issue and a fix is imminent, but I'm going to leave you with some positive news about my next tutorial. A lot of you were asking for footsteps in the desert landscape, so I've come up with a solution for Unreal Engine 5 that doesn't involve the problematic virtual height field mesh. So stay tuned, and I'll be publishing it in the next couple of days. See you then.